it seems like he's out there somewhere shouting, you know, I'm here, you know, you're nearly there, you're nearly there. He's just around the next corner. I just feel that he's there. This is how I imagine it, that he is there, out there, just waiting to be found, waiting, saying, come on, Grandad, I'm here. What are you doing? What are you messing about? I'm here. Come and get me. Uh, thank you all very much for coming. My wife and I are here today, one day before the fifth anniversary of Ben's disappearance, to announce a significant development in the case which we hope will lead to Ben's recovery. We have had discussions with a benefactor who wishes to remain anonymous concerning the reward for the information leading to Ben's recovery. The result is that the reward has been increased from 7 million drachmas to 191 million drachmas, equivalent to 530,000 uh, English pounds sterling, which is brilliant, really. Can you tell us anything about the benefactor at all? His nationality, uh, his... We don't know. We don't know. He's no. How are his uh, parents? My his... daughter's had a nervous breakdown. She's... Uh, physically and mentally unable to, to come out on sightings anymore. When someone dies, you can lay them up to rest, they're at peace, they're, they're not suffering anymore. But there's this not knowing, for five years of not knowing what exactly has happened. If by some sl slight chance uh, today, on Greek television, that Ben is in a house somewhere here watching this, send a message to him now. We love you very much and we want you to come back to us. That's all I can say. Please get in touch. Anyone. I can't go on. Let's see, I can't go Okay, can we call a halt there? Would you mind? I always feel funny when I come here. Confused, you know, like somebody's took away our life. Every night I'm here, five years, searching, searching, searching my mind, my brain, like a video going over and over and over, see? See if you've missed anything. In that grey bit before you're in between being awake and being asleep, it's... Yeah, nothing. I walk up and down the, the, the main lane so many times when you're asleep. Well, not, not asleep, just laid. You just see it, you see it in your see mind. It's plain as day, I can see him in the tree, I can see me sat in the barrow having my dinner. I can see him in and out, but I can't see nothing else. Can't see any further than that. He was just playing in and out of the farmhouse. He was talking. I was telling him off a few times for touching things that I thought he didn't ought to play with, you know, the tools, trowels, etc. And then it was quiet. I went out to check, and he wasn't there. There was no sign of him anywhere around. Ben Needham vanished three months after arriving on the Greek island of Kos. His family had taken their life savings and escaped from unemployment in Sheffield in search of a better life. On the day Ben disappeared, his grandparents were looking after him. His mother, Kerry, was at work in a local hotel. Ben's father, Simon, unable to find a job on the island, had returned to Sheffield two days earlier. This was the farmhouse that was eventually to be their home. The Needhams had been renovating it while living in a caravan nearby. Yeah. The caravan was sort of from length to length yeah. of this, right yeah. up along there. 
bought tables and chairs from the, the gypsies who came up and down. Perfect. Living in this, well, paradise. It was one of the happiest times of our lives. Well, I would say the happiest. When, when we'd found this land and we actually moved, we couldn't wait to move onto the land, could we? There's nothing left, is there? As though there's nobody ever been here. Yeah, it looks like nobody has ever, ever lived here. When Ben disappeared, the cost police at first suspected the family, saying they had either sold or killed Ben. But after seven days of gruelling interrogation, the police announced that the Needhams were innocent. A thorough search of the fields and ravines around the farmhouse uncovered nothing. This left the police with a third possibility, that Ben had been abducted. But the Coast Police were ill-equipped to handle such an investigation, and after a few months the case was quietly put to one side. In the five years since Ben vanished, there have been hundreds of sightings of blonde boys fitting his description. Only his family continue to search, combing the land, traveling on a shoestring, following every lead they can. Eddie and Christine are now in Kos to investigate a sighting that has come in after the announcement of the reward. A blonde boy of about the right age has been seen working with a Greek sunbed attendant. Let's go down and round these people. Basically, it's just a, an elimination process, you know, to eliminate this child, and then it's one less to have to worry about when you're back home. It seems, it seems as though that these are the people, like, who the tourists have seen. Someone said there is a blonde boy here in uh, the. Maybe it's not this child, but another one. Tourists. Tourists say they saw a blonde boy here with uh, the some beds. Some beds. You know of anyone? No. Okay. Did you ever work on, on some beds or anything outside? No? Some guy with long hair, they said, and he had a blonde boy with him. It was a long shot. We satisfied almost, almost satisfied at this in, in, in Ben anyway, you know, but it is disheartening, you know, but we keep going, trying, looking round them. It's just like it's guilt that drives you on because he were in our care when he disappeared. We lost him really, but you don't tend to think there's any bad people in a place that's nice and sunny like Cos Island. It's our fault that Kerry's gone through what she's gone through all these years. Us that's lost her a child. This is the worst pain anybody could ever have, of losing a child and not know where he is. And over the years, I mean, I just, well, my life wasn't worth living. I was so weak and vulnerable. Any slight comment or, you know, look I would get, it used to, it used to kill me. I used to go home and cry and cry for days, never get out of bed. Twice I've taken pills and twice I tried to slit my wrists. I just, without Ben, I didn't want to live. My, he was my life. You know, I, I, I would give, I would give everything. As even now, I would still give everything to have him back, or to find out where he is and what happened. Carrie had this dream that she found him. Yeah, she picked him up, didn't she? And she ran and ran and ran. She kept running and running because everyone's chasing her. As a result of the reward, 
new sightings of children resembling Ben are beginning to flow in. These are passed on to the British Consul in Athens. A lady was on a, a, a flight from Santorini to Athens the night before last, and she said there was a gypsy family on board. They had three girls and two boys. One of the boys was blonde and, and totally different from all the other children, but she couldn't confirm what the colour of the eyes were. was. He's between five and seven years old. Yeah. And then another, another one less, less promising than that. This lady sells... She calls him Spiro, and he doesn't go to school. But he, he wants to look at the, the child again, and he asked us for more details, which we gave. And then he said he would get back to us, so... Mm. I don't think it's worth every time we get a sighting like this for you to come No, I don't, over. because it's... No, no. It's if you trust well, me. While we're here in Greece, I mean, if yeah, but yeah, it would have to be yeah. something because we want to carry on, don't we? Sure. And, you know, what do I'm what just relieved that somebody's phoned in. Well, to be shows, honest, we've had some impact. Yeah. Ben is seven now, and his family may find it difficult to recognise him. A computer-enhanced image has been produced to help with the search. No, one minute. She can know me? Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. No, no, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've searched because we love him. We're his family, we're his roots, we're his people. Yeah, otherwise we're not going to have enough more posters. He needs to know who he is. He needs to know. I know he's alive. Christine, could you describe what Ben was like as a toddler? I don't know if I can, so I'll be upset. You want to see? Well, I'll try a minute. I don't think I can. You'll do it. Well, it was... When, when Ben was a toddler, he was a uh, very cheeky kid, very friendly. Uh, yeah. Never, never stop running about, always chasing here, there and everywhere, you know, just like... Well, no, I wouldn't say it was like a, a, a normal child, it was more... It was a bit hyperactive. Yeah, yeah, um, it was always wanting to still. run away from you, never never wanted to be walking by your side, you always you had to be two or three yards in front, like, you know. And happy, really oh, happy. Yeah. We're just going to follow up the information that was given to us now, to our best ability, that is. There's been tons so of much, it so that we've got to try and pick out. The Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. Mrs. Davriondaku saw a gypsy boy, very blonde and fair, begging on the underground. Yeah, well, I've seen one playing about him, but he's got black hair. A lady saw a blonde boy uh, get on the train and he was begging. He was with a dark-skinned, well-dressed man and it looked as though this man was his protector. The police don't seem to care about following the information or perhaps because it's not their child and it's not their problem and it's very hard to do it. It's very difficult to follow the information. For me and Eddie it's very, very difficult to follow it up but we just have to do it. Despite their lack of help from the police, the Needhams have uncovered much in their five-year search. There have long been rumours of children being bought and sold in Greece. 
The family now believe this is what happened to Ben. Everybody's got their theories, and there's no limit to the number of theories, but a likely scenario is that it was uh, not a planned abduction, but someone saw this lone, blonde, blue-eyed child walking on his own and decided that this was a business opportunity and just took him. Took him off the island straight away, and where he is now, no one really knows. But somebody did it, and other people, I'm sure, know what happened. And this is why we hope that the, the reward will bring them out. How do you mean a business opportunity? Well, there have been cases in the past of uh, children being sold. I think it's fairly common knowledge. Since Ben disappeared, his grandfather Eddie has had to give up working as a builder due to ill health. Found up train. It's only a quid. The Needhams fund their frequent trips to Greece mainly through selling collectibles at boot fairs. He's got a carriage to it as well. He only wants batteries. How's your camera? Huh? I've got boxes and boxes and boxes at home if you want. Oh, that's excellent. It'll have to be after we come back, obviously. We've had hundreds of sightings of, of boys who could be Ben. They're nearly all blonde boys with Greeks who look out of place, flying the milk. Oh, it's an example with this, this child here, who's in Turkey. Um, the lady is English, but they thought that this guy here, this child here was Ben because he was with a typically Turkish Muslim looking woman. A Greek headmaster said that he thought Ben might be in his school. He's took pictures of the blonde lad with his class as well, and this has been checked, but that's that's not bad. They've been eliminated. This child we met, didn't we? We met that child, yeah, we this went little, to Kefalonia. Um, little blonde one stood out because he was with an old Greek woman. Um, he did belong to the people. This blonde-haired child here was with this really dark, yeah. <laughs> really dark, black in fact, uh, working the sunbeds. On roads. Yeah. Every single day I used to go to my mum and dad's and it'd be Ben, Ben, Ben all the time. What can we do? What didn't we do? Do you think this person could have done something? Do you think that person could have done something? Every single day we saw each other, it was that conversation. And it gets to you. You know, it used to drive me mad, really. I didn't want to listen to it anymore. I didn't want to talk about it anymore. There had to be a break and there wasn't. No matter how many times you went over the story, it was the same ending. Two years after Ben's disappearance, Kerry and Simon had a second child, Leanna. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. I was, you know, given advice about 
that it would help me, to give me something to focus my attentions on. As, as being a mother, I was like a mother without a child. So if I had another one, I could, that maternal feeling should come back or should you know, still be there to give to another child, and it wasn't. For five years, he's been Ben, 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 the search for Ben. It destroyed the family. It's destroyed Kerry and Simon's life. We went through a period where our whole family split up, really. There wasn't anything else in our lives, just Ben. Two weeks after Liana was born, Simon was convicted of burglary and sentenced to five years in prison. Simon's more stupid than bad. I know it was a terrible thing what he did, but I mean he's more stupid than bad. You know, we nearly had a nervous it. breakdown I did, yeah, because when uh, Simon was found guilty of charges because he thought he said that's it now that nobody will help us anymore. We'll not find Ben now because of this. Thank you very much, sir. Cheers, thank you. Last year we, we managed to save, I think it was about a thousand pounds. How much have you made this morning? This morning? I don't know, how much have you got? About 15 pounds. Have you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 15, about 16 pounds. Whoa! Yeah. About 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Which is... Well, it's all right. It's all right. It's, it's all else, thing, isn't yeah. it? The five hundred thousand pound reward has rekindled interest in Ben's case. The story is featured in a three-hour special on the popular Greek television show Missing. I have noticed that we are now going to a very big and a very repetitive taxi. We are going to be looking for the son of Ben Nidham, the boy who was lost after five years in Co, at the age of only 20 months. A boy who I thought was a sinner in our lives, who was kidnapped, who was in our hearts, a boy who we loved, who was not worth the money that he was stolen. Ήταν εδώ, κοντά μας, στην ΚΟ. Ε, λοιπόν, τον Μπεν τον είδα τον 92 τον Αύγουστο. Ερχόμουν από διακοπές από Κύθυρα και ήταν απέναντί μου, όπως είναι οι θέσει στο εφορείο, ήταν ο Μπεν με μία κυρία. Το Μπεν τον είδα το τέλος του Μάη του 96 ήρθε στο σπίτι μου να με πουλήσει σπίρτα. There is a huge response and calls flood in from all over Greece. One of these callers, a prisoner, makes an astonishing claim. Δύο, να λέμε στα χέρια μου βρίσκεται σε ένα ξάδερφό μου. Ναι. Ο οποίο αυτό ο ξάδερφό μου είναι στη Γερμανία και αυτή τη στιγμή τώρα ήταν εδώ στην Ελλάδα. Μάλιστα. Είναι μια άδεια εδώ πέρα. Ο Μπέν βρίσκεται στην Πάτρα. Το νούμερο του ποια περιοχή, το νούμερο του τρόλεϊ. Ναι, ναι, ναι. Τι έβλεπε. Μάλιστα. Είναι πιο ωραία. Τι έλα. Αλλά δεν ξέρω σε τι it's like we've waited for good information for five years and now we get some. I don't believe that it's good in case it's not. And then it's disappointing again. So I'm, I'm you know, just being a bit more cautious, I think, in my mind. No, so you're just trying to, you're afraid. 
And you're trying to find fault with the information? Yeah, I am trying to find fault with it, because I, I believe that people, they mean things, you know, they, they mean yeah, to help. Yeah, but we've got people who's named the man who I took know. them from I Costco. Know, what if he's lying? Well, if he's lying, he's lying at the end. But I mean, you can't, you can't sit back at home and say, oh, we can't look because he's lying. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. I wouldn't go and look at it. I mean, I want to. I want to look at it, but I, it, I don't know about being certain about it. Because no, it's I know too that. Scary, I know isn't that. It? But it's too upsetting. You know, if you think, right, this is the one, this is the one, I think we're going to find him before Christmas then. I mean, if we don't, what are we going to do at Christmas then, when we haven't got him at Christmas? I think that we'll either find Ben or find out what happened to Ben before Christmas. Despite the prisoner's extraordinary allegations, the Greek police haven't responded. Once again, it's left to the Needhams to follow the trail. Eddie and Chris travelled 200 miles north to Larissa Prison to hear the prisoner's story for themselves. Filming is forbidden in Greek jails, but we secretly record the visit. Did his cousin take Ben? May I look at the spirit of Ben? Says yes, of course. Yes. Yes. We have stolen this one from an island. That's what they said. God. They were all in cross. Where is Ben now? Says to me, oh, Ben Tora. He's in Patra. He's yeah. in Patra. Oh, whereabouts in Patra? Has he got an address? No. No address. I'm shocked. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm totally I'm shocked. I mean, the guy's got nothing to lose, and if he's got 22 years no, in prison, no. well, this is why he can tell the don't truth. Don't get upset. It's <laughs> going to be all right. We're going to um, find him. <laughs> Now, there's one question. Will it be easy to get that bag? Wow, I believe stuff. that. I do. Um, um, do we want to believe it? No, he's got nothing to do with that. Oh, wow, that was amazing. Did you get it all, Mick? <coughs> it's amazing. We've got a full, full statement of everything. The guy's got 22 years left to serve in prison and uh, he's told us everything we've left him money for phone cards he's going to phone the people and we've told him that we don't want no police involved we're just happy to get Ben back without any trouble and he's agreed to phone these people and uh, to help us I believe we will find Ben with these people, with these, with these help, with the help of these people. But I, I don't know. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm, uh, I'm numb to be honest. You're overwhelmed, aren't you, by it all? It's, it's strange when somebody says, "Yeah, we know all the stuff. We know all the stuff." But then again, it may not be true. He may, he may be a boy, but it may not be Ben. I think we'll just die of disappointment if it's not Ben this time. I think we'll die if it's not. The prisoner, Adonis Bedzios, has told the Needhams that his cousin and three other gypsies took Ben from Kos. He claims he saw Ben in 1992 at the home of the Karimi gypsy family. He alleges that Ben has now been sold to a wealthy family in the southern port of Patra. I've had a shock to say the least today, Kay, with this prisoner. 
Yeah. Mm. What's he said? He's trying to f to find the address for these people who's got Ben. Or to arrange for them to give Ben. Or to, to arrange for them to give Ben back to us without the police being involved. Oh God. I oh, know. They don't want. They're frightened. They want to give him up. They they, to they're frightened, him. these people, and they want to give him up, but they don't know how they can do no. it without getting caught. But we believe him that there is a boy. He's genuine. He's not, he's not At the end of the day, love, it may not be our Ben. It may be just another child that, that we've not even heard about gone missing. You know what I mean? I know. I can't take it in. I, can't. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do? No. Why? Eh? Hey? You don't know what to do. Uh, Kerry, we'll find something and we'll get to the bottom of it and there's no way we're coming back until we've seen this kid. No way. In Greece today, there is an active illegal trade in children being sold for adoption. The Athens police have broken eight major child selling rings in the past five years. For Eddie and Chris, this lends credibility to the prisoner's claim that Ben was stolen. Κοιτάξτε, υπάρχουν κάποιοι κυκλώματα τα οποία εμπορεύονται παιδιά στην Ελλάδα. Βέβαια είναι πάρα πολύ δύσκολο να διαλευκανθούν αυτές τις περιπτώσεις και όσες περιπτώσεις μέχρι στιγμής έχουν έρθει στην αστυνομία και έχουν εξηχνιαστεί, έχουν εξηχνιαστεί μέσω καταγγελιών που κυρίως είναι ανώνυμες. Κοιτάξτε, οι περιπτώσει αυτέ, οι περισσότερε από τι οποίε είχαμε και μπορώ να σου πω το 100%, είναι με εμπλοκή τσιγκάνων μέσα. Έτσι, αν είναι αγόρι, είναι μεγαλύτερη τιμή. Αν είναι κορίτσι, είναι χαμηλότερη τιμή. Αν είναι τσιγκανάκι, είναι χαμηλότερη τιμή. Αν είναι ξανθό, με γαλανά μάτια, με άσπρο δέρμα, οπωσδήποτε είναι υψηλότερε τιμέ. Κυμαίνονται μέχρι 5 εκατομμύρια περίπου οι τιμέ για το αγόρι. Μιλάω. Για το κορίτσι μπορεί να είναι 500-800.000 λιγότερε. Ε, πιστεύετε ότι στον Μπεν μπορεί να έχει συμβεί κάτι τέτοιο, να έχει απαχθεί και πουληθεί. Πιθανόν. Πιθανόν. Είναι μια περίπτωση στην οποία δεν έχουμε κάνει έρευνα. Σαν υπηρεσία μιλάω πάντα. Είναι μια περίπτωση στην οποία δεν έχουμε κάνει έρευνα γιατί δεν έχει έρθει σε εμά μια επίσημη ειδοποίηση για την διεξαγωγή έρευνα. Αλλά από την εμπειρία που υπάρχει, τη συνολική εμπειρία στην υπηρεσία αυτή, μπορώ να πω ότι είναι πολύ πιθανό. The prisoner, Bedzios, hasn't called back with an address in Patra for Ben, and the Needhams cannot contact him inside the prison. But there has been a sighting in Patra of a blonde, seven-year-old boy living with a wealthy couple, and the Needhams are on their way. The sighting is being investigated by Mariana Faithful, who was herself sold as a baby. She now runs an organization for others who were sold by orphanages and who want to find their natural families. About 10,000 children changed hands from the Athens orphanage, and then you have Salonika and you have Patras, and it's happening even today. They pay a lot of money. How much? 20 million, 30 million drachmas. See, there's not enough children uh, to adopt in Greece. It's a national hobby. I'm not joking. It's becoming like a national hobby here. There's a professional couple. Mm -hmm who couldn't have any children of their own. Yeah. Finally, people saw her with a kid, you know, and... Uh, Fitting Ben's description. Yes, yes. The child is blonde, he's thin, he's tall, and he wears glasses. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. But uh, an eye specialist rang me up and he said to me that um, if the color of the eyes is not the same, he said to me, don't worry, because they can change it with contact lenses. Uh -huh. They can change that uh -huh. now, you see. So we don't worry about that either. In 1953, I uh, was bought and sold and adopted illegally. And um, I found out I was adopted when I was 16. And ever since then, I started looking for my real family. And it took me uh, 27 years to find them. The last five years just seems like a fairy tale. As though it's as though we've been up for five years, we've been blind, and suddenly now we're in the light. And I don't know how to angle. I don't know what to do next. I don't, you know, I, I do. I believe everything we've been told, and we may be two days or three days away from finding Ben. At dawn, 
Mariana takes Eddie and Chris to stake out the house where she claims Ben has been seen, hoping to catch sight of him as he leaves for school. It's daylight. It's daylight, yeah. Nothing. No sign of anything, anybody. We are looking for they got day after day. Oh dear. Oh, oh, what time is it? I'm 20 to 8 now. Well, we'll get well at 8 o'clock because it, he's not going to be going to school after 8 o'clock, is he? Them shutters. The cars are there anyway, aren't they? Well, there's two cars, but there's four flats. Well, there's any people there, I don't know. But it was definitely here last night. The bus would have come by now. If the child's going to school. Keep the so is that the private school bus? Yeah. <laughs> this is him. That's him, all right. Who's that? That's him. That's him. That's her. No kid. Where's he? That bloody hell! This is it, babies. Said we got the wrong house. This didn't is I? it. I mean, where's the bloody kid? You know. Stay here, they aren't good following him. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They are the couple. They are the, so, the, the parents of the boy. I don't like this. I don't like this. They've left. I don't know. They've left the boy inside. We don't uh, knock on the door. We don't know who, who he's with. The whole thing seems crazy. Whole thing, walking up and down, looking at people's houses, filming their doorways. It's, it's it's not real. It's like not a real world. No authorities care. We don't care whether we find him or we, or we do. We don't care. I mean, the people that've given information, they don't even bother going to see them to see if it's right or wrong. They don't visit people. They don't question them. They don't take notes. Don't do nothing. Everybody's lost sight of it. The whole world lost sight of it. If they ever had it in their sight in the first place. I'm sorry I can't speak about it. Several days later, Mariana discovers that the boy in question is definitely not Ben. The Needhams now turn their attention to finding the gypsies, who the prisoner says abducted and sold their grandson.
After their disappointment in Patra, Eddie and Christine travel north to Macedonia in search of the gypsies they were told took Ben. It's not just the prisoner Bedzios who says his cousin and the Karimi family were responsible. A video of a child looking like Ben has been shown on Greek television. A private detective, Stratos Bakietsis, claims he secretly made the tape while investigating the Karimi gypsies. He has contacted the British police claiming that he too has been told by gypsies that they took Ben from Kos. All those persons, they do have killed nothing. They were boy from Kos. Where are these people? Where, where are they now? The best we see is in the city of Grevena. It's a city in the western Macedonian, Greek Macedonian. He tried to find him, but it is not able yeah. because he takes care not to not be solved. Do you know where that is? Well, uh, you you told the police in England that some gypsies came, came into your office and admitted taking Ben from Kos. That's what they told us. Yes. Who uh, was who was the gypsy? There are some evidences, but uh, we are uh, not. Uh, uh, able to check it because uh, this boy that we are looking for now is uh, by another family perhaps not in Greece but in Germany or yeah. in Europe yeah. but he has not what about the gypsies that came yeah, into the office Wait. 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 step by step no, no, you are going to do everything. No, no, he's no. the pissing about, the messing no, about. No, but you have to wait until you get everything. The messing is about. Just like wait. I said, what happened? Wait. We don't need the money. That means we have not a financial win by this way. It's for us, it's not interesting. The money. Despite their claims, the private detective and his lawyer seem more interested in gaining publicity for themselves than providing any hard evidence. Nonetheless, what they say does seem to confirm the allegations made by the prisoner. Now, at this moment in time, I believe we know what's happened. Finding him, that's another thing. But I do believe that we're getting nearer and nearer and nearer each day because everything, nothing makes sense, but everything makes sense, if you know what I mean. What these people have done doesn't make sense, but now uh, it, it is making, it making sense. I'm not making sense, and, but you know what I mean, I know what I mean, but... The Needham search for the Karimi family and the boy featured in the video leads them west to Varia. They meet up with Reina Covelliotti, a local journalist who knows the gypsies well. She agrees to take Eddie and Chris to try and find the Karimi family. Andreas Kirimis' son. Andreas Kirimis' son. Zoe's brother. Zoe's brother. Right. Zoe's brother. 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 Someone gave us information. Yeah. 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 Y
Μακάρ να ακούσουμε, μακάρ να δούμε να πούμε κάτι μέρο ή να πάει να το πάρει το παιδί του. Αλλά δεν ξέρουμε, κουκλίτσα. Εμεί δεν γυρίζουμε εμεί πάντω. Μπορούμε να βοηθήσουμε. Αν κάποια στιγμή. Ο ίδιο 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 ο ίδι
I came down here and researched all this area, all along here. Right the way, I went personally, right the way back, all the way down there, right to the road. In, like, took it in tears. And this is my favourite spot in Heracles, really, the orchard. It's so beautiful and un unchanged, isn't it? You know? Yeah. This was the dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't feel any anger or any hate towards Heracles. That may sound strange. But what I have found, what I find even stranger, is that there's a family that lives in that house now, right? And they've got small children running up and down that lane all by themselves, right? They're not afraid of anything. Nobody's they're not afraid of them, them falling down a well or a hole or... The only you thing know, they're just playing of. out. They're just playing out like Ben was playing out. So why did it happen to Ben? Why did it happen to Ben? There's a reason. There's, there's, there's got to be. At one point, I felt as though we were going to get Ben back. I really did feel as though we were going to get Ben back. But now, now, I don't know. Nick. It's just, I, I don't think I've got the strength at this moment anyway to carry on. I, will, I, I just talk him into it the next day. Say, come on, just one more day. It will be all right. There's something wrong. It's it's too strange. It's too it's too unlikely that a boy just vanishes from the face of the earth. Nobody, I don't think anybody believes it's actually happened, apart from us. And I do get angry, knowing that Ben is out there and nobody, but nobody, seems to be interested. Because the, the policy was there.